Hey Mo, I tell you, it's good it, to see you. It's man. good to see you it's been again. A long time. Yes, it has. Yes. No, thank you very much for inviting me back My here pleasure. to Mobile World Congress. I know. Uh, I tell you, T-Mobile is doing so much, and I'm just amazed at the stuff that you're putting out. The most thank recent, you. one of the most recent. Uh, services you're putting out is this uh, T priority. Yes. You know, with my background, I'm, I'm really focused on a lot of the stuff that happens in government. Mm -hmm. um, and this T priority seems to be right on time. Can you tell me a little bit about what is T priority? Yeah, well, to your point, uh, what we wanted to do was introduce a service that is for some of the most important individuals in America, which is our first responders. Mm -hmm. Those people that are out there every single day putting their lives on the line to protect you, me, our families, our friends, our communities. And T-Priority is a service, a solution that is mm -hmm. really oriented on giving them what they need to be able to do their jobs every single day. Well, you know, uh, as technology advances, it becomes even more important, especially to first responders. I mean, yes. you, you see these um, uh, videos of first responders using augmented reality mm -hmm. and virtual reality and, and getting instructions and the data to go back to the ambulance, why it's coming. Um, I mean, this, this seems like it's a, a great benefit. So is, is this T-Priority support that? In any way? I told you it's for first responders. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about what it does for them. Okay. So even before we launched T-Priority, mm -hmm. T-Mobile has the best network in America. And how does that manifest for first responders? First and foremost, we have 40% more capacity than any of the other guys out there. What does that mean? It means that you have uh, an event like a Thanksgiving parade right. or New Year's Eve or an emergency like a train derailment or something that's happened. 40% okay, okay. more capacity means that if 100 first responders show up, might work on the other guys, mm -hmm. we support 140. We really deliver on that promise of we're going to have the capacity that you need to do what you need to do every single day. So that's number one. Two is we're twice as fast okay. as the other guys in terms of the speeds that first responders can, can enjoy and have. And then T priority. It is the world's first 5G slice for first responders. And mm. you know, like, what is that? Okay, what the heck is a slice, <laughs> right? And a slice is really just a fancy way of saying, hey, we've built the capability to be able to identify when a first responder is on yeah. our network, give them priority and preemption, which is really table stakes. Everyone's been doing it for some number of years. Okay. But once they're on the network, we're able, like, think of a traffic cop, mm -hmm. direct all of the, the traffic on the network and be able to prioritize that first responder uh, individual bits, their vehicles, their body cams, mm. their devices that they need to be able to do their job and utilize the entirety of the network. That slice acting as a traffic cop says, hey, I see more and more first responders coming on. I'm going to dynamically expand the amount of capacity that I'm making available to them for them to be able to do their jobs. It's, it's absolutely amazing, so especially you mean, yeah. when you know we have 40% more capacity than everyone else. So you can do this in real time? I mean, these things require responsiveness. Your, yes. Your network is that responsive? I, exactly, yes. So we have a 5G standalone network. Okay. Um, we're one of the only ones in the world that has introduced this capability. And because of that technology, to your point, right. in real time, we can dynamically detect every bit, every piece of traffic on our network and ensure that first responders have the capacity, the capability, and the speeds that mm. they need to be able to do their job. When it comes to the mission, okay, if I was a first responder, um, what is the most important aspect of T priority to the actual mission. You know, if I'm a, in yeah. a police or fire or EMS, um, you know, what's, what's important to me? Yeah, look, I, I'll distill this down to three things. Okay. First and foremost is, you know, uh, other companies have built 
uh, small standalone networks for mm. first responders right. with the promise of, hey, this is going to be enough, it's not going to congest. And you know what we hear from first responders is mm. it congests. <laughs> so having 40% more capacity just right off the bat is incredibly important. You need the capacity to be able to do your job, yeah. connect yeah. to the network at those moments that truly matter. That's number one. Number two is that ability to dynamically expand how much of our capacity we're making available to first responders. Yeah. So in those moments where you need to save lives, knowing that the network will be there to support you is incredibly important. And then the third thing that I uh, mentioned is that minimum bit rate. Ensuring that even in times of extreme congestion, mm -hmm. where there's significant number of first responders all converging trying to do their jobs, ensuring that you're able to get across you that data intensive modern communication tools yeah. that first responders have that they are able to connect, send back video, send back communications, etc. is the third key thing that I call out. Oh wow, as the first responders bring out, you know, the drones and autonomous vehicles and uh, life-saving techniques and technologies, uh, T-Mobile and T-Priority are going to be like foundational to all of that. So I really Absolutely. appreciate the time you've, you've taken to, to take me through this and explain to us what T-Priority is and why it's so important. It's great Thanks, seeing you. Mo. Great seeing you. I'll see you yeah. soon.